Hello my friends, story time with Mrs. Beth again. Hey, a big shout out to my friends Lily and Sawyer and Annabelle and Evie and Kinley and everybody else that's listening. I have another story about a dog. Dogs are pretty cool. It's called Pig the Fibber. Uh oh, he's not telling the truth. Pig the Fibber. Let's read it together. Pig the Fibber. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. When Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat and then he'd just point and say, Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase full of flowers and then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. He once even ripped up a lovely old dress. Then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this? asked poor little Trevor. I, I thought we were friends. But Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of the pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there in the closet up high. But before I can get them, hmm, I need a good lie. And with that, he let fly. Whew, it was stinky and grim. Then he pointed at Trevor and said, It was him! So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance. Yeah, and he climbed up on a chair. Those trees will be mine and I'll gobble them all. Just behind all those trees was an old bowling ball. Uh-oh. These days, it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig has stopped lying. Hip, hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. <sighs> what a silly dog. Not telling the truth, he was telling lies and blaming things on his friend Trevor the dog. You know what, friends? I hope you tell the truth. I hope you don't make up stories and especially blame it on other people. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the story. Thanks for listening. See you next time.